if you don't have a return ticket they will send you back if you're doing nesting already in botswana dude apply for a job in the uk and that's it's you're getting it and if you don't have a bank statement stay don't you have funds to support yourself whilst in the uk they're sending you back <laughs> so hey guys welcome to my youtube channel this is your girl sandra welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here and if you're a returning subscriber i really appreciate your support we're on the road to 3k guys let's make it work let's make it happen because now i think i'm gonna be consistent um i've been traveling i'm back now i'm back so we're gonna make sit down videos i already found an apartment in case you're wondering so yeah i'm in my new apartment i love it here and yeah so <clears throat> today's video is going to be totally different from what i usually make but then i thought like since i make travel videos i might as well include it because it's traveling tips you know so yeah so we're going to be do i'm going to be making a video about how to go to uk for the first time because people have been asking me that since i was in the uk i'm in botswana now <laughs> yeah so yeah people have been asking me how they can go there and stuff so i am going to give you the tips and everything that you need to be able to go to uk for the first time so if you like that kind of thing make sure you stick around until the end of this video because it is very very important you know what i mean anyway thank you guys for tuning in let's get into the video if you're new here and you're wondering my name is Sandra. I make fashion videos and sometimes DIY videos. But now that I'm back, I think I'm going to be making a lot of DIY videos because my sewing machine is here with me. So I'm going to be doing a lot of um, styling videos now that I'm back and I have everything together. Okay, we're going to get into the video of how you can go to UK. Oh, as a Mozwana, you don't need a visa to go to UK. Of course you don't need a visa to go to uk i know because i didn't need one i've been to uk like two times now first time in 2019 and then second i mean oh my gosh what am i saying what is, the, is that english um and then second time in 2021 i didn't need a visa to go there um what you simply need is a passport is a botswana passport and that's all you need i'm lying okay so what you need is the botswana passport we also need um a return ticket you gotta buy a return ticket to show that you are actually coming back you're not going to stay there kind of they don't want people to move there and stay there and do illegal stuff or whatever so you have to have a return ticket if you don't have a return ticket they will send you back time in 2019 when i went there i didn't know that I didn't know i actually had a return ticket bag and i didn't know i had it and i was like what what are you guys talking about and then they they, they were asking me questions where are you going who are you going with and i was actually going there for a month so it's much easier if you're going for a short time because when you get there you, when you get to the airport they're gonna ask you questions like why why are you there what are you going to do and depending on the length that you will be in the uk they'll be asking you questions like what are you going to do while it's through here and if you're saying you're going to be doing nothing and you're there for six months my dear they will send you back and they won't even they won't even play they will send you back the other thing that you need is an invitation letter the invitation letter should have a date and should be signed and also it should have a physical address like where are you going to stay if it's not signed and if it doesn't have a physical address my dear they are sending you back they are sending you back and that's on <laughs> and they're gonna send you back so make sure everything is in order like when i was traveling this time around because they had changed a lot of things in 2019 when i was traveling i didn't need a bank statement to actually go but this time I needed a bank statement and if you don't have a bank statement stay don't worry you have funds to support yourself whilst in the uk they're sending you back like anything it's not things are not easy anymore like going to uk is not easy anymore with my statement they were asking me questions like oh where is this money coming from and they even took my bank statement and then took some time i don't know they took it somewhere to check and verify whatever they will verify you could it's not that easy 
that's what i'm trying to communicate and they need to know that you'll be able to use the money it's not just the money that is there it's 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 quite tricky it's quite tricky so yeah bank statement and in 2019 when i went i took a yellow fever short um at the time it was a thing but now it's just like covid this covid that so i don't know if you need a yellow fever i don't know if you need a yellow fever thing but i needed it i took it and every time i travel i take the card with me because you never know and then you also need to be vaccinated and probably with a shot but with covid you need to always check the um the covid requirements when traveling into a country because they change from time to time so i can't really like say you need this something that is covid related because when i went to uk in 20 in 2021 december they needed a locator form but now it's not needed anymore and sometimes they're saying what you don't need a pcr test sometimes you do depending on the covid situation so just do research get your facts right but make sure you have an invitation letter make sure you have a return ticket make sure you have um a bank statement with you and then the invitation letter should be signed should have a date and should have like the physical address and then the bank statement should have money in it should the bank statement should show that your bank has enough money to sustain your wealth in the uk guys if if just my advice is that don't 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 take your last savings and then buy a ticket all the way up go uk your bank statement is not right you don't have money in or you don't have a place to stay don't risk your savings i'd rather have you save more money enough more money for you to be able to go there and maybe find a job i don't know guys because i was in the uk for i was meant to be there for six months but i only came back after three months like i was going crazy you know when you don't have a job because with the visa that i was using i wasn't allowed to work i wasn't allowed to even do volunteer work but volunteer work that i was allowed to do was only like a month but then with the volunteer stuff they want to train you for like two they train you they're training you to for you to be able to work for them for a long time and they can't train you and then you're gone in a month it doesn't make sense because i did try to volunteer and i was going crazy because i was just i was going to the gym i was i was going to the drama group i was like but i was going crazy i just needed to work and also like you obviously spend money to go there and you need to get it back so if you're just staying and not doing anything it, it drove me crazy it may be okay for you to just go there but like, if you have a friend there and you have family in Botswana if you're not renting because i'm renting and look i had to come and look for an apartment and stuff so if you're going to take your life savings and you're renting in Botswana and then you hoop to uk no job you're just visiting i'd rather have you not waste your money just wait when the time is right the lord will make it happen so save your money look for a job whilst you're here that if you want a job in the uk make sure it's something in healthcare because they need people in healthcare so if you want a job make sure that you start applying if you have if you're doing nursing already in botswana dude apply for a job in the uk and that's it's you're getting it if you have experience they really value people with experience if you have experience apply for a job and if if you don't have any experience and you really really want to go do volunteer work something healthcare related do find the healthcare work or get educated you can even do the courses i'm at five to six months for you to get that experience and that the skills you know and then if you have experience you will get hired because i assure you they are looking for people so if you are in healthcare right now social work nursing things like that apply for a job in the uk and then move and that's a so and you get hired so yeah that's my advice and if you're going there for school because visas you can get a student visa you can get a work visa and there's a healthcare visa as well so what you need to do if as a student you'd need to have if you're sponsoring yourself you'd need to have a lot of money so if your parents can pay for you sure but if your parents can't pay for you I, I don't advise you to honestly it's it's not that easy 
So if don't don't just take your life savings and then go there. Because if you have enough money lying around to just visit people and do nothing for like but six months, sure, go for it. And then you know when you come back you're gonna go and stay with your parents here in gaps. But if not, don't do it. Don't do it. But anyway, guys, I hope my tips were very helpful to you guys. I hope you will take everything that I said here into consideration because it is very important. Make sure you have a bank statement. Make sure you have a return ticket. Make sure you have an invitation letter. Make sure you have a passport. With It has to have like pages. It has to have pages you know you know what i mean yeah so anyway you guys i really appreciate it i wouldn't be here without i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys thank you and see you in my next video